This program is similar to Image Grabber 2. Um, what it does is just extract screenshots from uh, your movie clip, like uh, AVIs, MPEG, and I think a few others. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're making a screenshot gallery, or they call it thumbnail gallery, also. Okay. And you need this program called GFrame Catcher. Now with GFrame Catcher, uh, all you gotta do is just load in your um, video, right? Let's say, uh, let's see what we're gonna do. Let's just pick one, and it's gonna generate or pull screenshots, right, from the clip, and you see it on the side here, right? Now you can also have some preference in here too, look, and uh, you know you can change the background color if you like, like let's say blue or something, light blue or blue, light blue. And there we go, we have that. Uh, you can do timestamp on uh, the logo if you like. The most important part is probably uh, the image or uh, width and height, and also um, the frames here. Uh, the frames here is uh, you can capture by frames. That means it'll be whatever the number you set it to, like 24, right? It's gonna be 24. The second one right here is based on the length of the movie, since you're doing it by time, right? So those are the two options in there. Now, if you if you extract it, right? Uh, there's two options for this. If you extract all right here, it's just gonna extract single files, and that's not what you want. Uh, you want to extract to uh, to file and this will make the gallery pick right so you click on that and we're gonna save it to the desktop right. so now we have it here our desktop as uh, it creates a, a PNG file so now you open it right you can see we see our clip right you know this whole thing here and you see that they have a the, the file name and the codex and you know and the length and stuff like that. And you can see a preview of the whole um, movie or the whole you know clip. And they also have timestamp like we uh, suggested um, timestamp here. So this is good um, for the people that uses um, torrents or um, rapid share. Because they want to, you know, show the people that are downloading the quality of the movie, um, and what is it about. Uh, it's also using a uh, porn size a lot, because you know, that's how that we choose which one we download. We have to see the the screenshots of it, all right? Now, if you're a, a movie collector or DVD collector or whatever, right? This is also good for that too, you know. Like using maybe uh, movie collectors for Windows or uh, GC Star on Linux, right? Uh, it's also good for that since uh, you might not remember the damn movie that you watch, and uh, if you have a screenshot of it, right, then you refresh your memory. So that's what it's used for. Um, go grab it if you need one.